I wanted to minister to y'all real quick. I don't know when this is going to go up because I may have other minister moments, but I was just praying. And, you know, I, I had to, before I sat down, I had to really say to myself, I don't care how many views I get. I just want people to be free. I want souls to be free in Christ. So, you know, I do look at my views and I see my views are low. And then I look at people putting up stupid stuff. I mean, stupid stuff that don't have nothing to do with nothing. Because if I plant a seed, a God seed, into you and it grows and you plant it into somebody else, that's thousands right there. So this is my thing. Y'all, I'm walking around and I'm praying and I'm repenting and I'm asking God to forgive me for all those times where, you know, I call them my un-Jesus times, the times where I didn't want to be saved, times where I didn't want to obey God, I didn't want to obey my pastor, I did not want to read my word, I did not want to speak in tongues, I did not want to come to church, but I wanted to go out in the, you know, in the work of the devil, he paints the picture of being unsaved and, you know, not following after God's heart and not obeying God. He paints, the, he's a, he, I'm telling y'all, he's a bad artist because he paints the most beautiful picture that when you leave God, you know, saying to me like, my kingdom is so grand, my kingdom is so bad. Yeah, it is bad. It, it is fun things to do out there in the world. But how long is your season? Naturally, we have four seasons. And they're supposed to last three months. Now, you go out there in the world, and like, and I believe it's in um, Ecclesiastes, about there's, a, there's a, a time and season for everything. So, you know, say you do backslide and you go out there in the world, baby, your season can be five hours. You done made up in your mind that you about to backslide. You about to go to the clubs. You about to go have sex, smoke, drink. Um, molest some some people, uh, watch pornography, cut some people out. You know, whatever sin that, you know, the devil bringing in your face, whatever sin that, you know, may seem so tantalizing to you. You may have five hours. That could be your season. That could be your season. You could have so much fun, like in three hours. And then that three hour and five minute time hit. And the devil just, you know, take the, the, the glasses off your eyes and you seeing everything. Everything that you were taught in church. You seeing demons. You seeing um, demons come up on people's face. You hearing them. And like before, you you were protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. But now, since you told God peace, he like, all right. Because God is a gentleman. He going to be, all right, you can go do what you want to do. I still love you. Yeah, he still loves the sinners, but you know what I'm saying? You're going out into Satan's kingdom with no protection, none, and then you seeing all this stuff and you hearing all this stuff, and then it's easy for them demons to get on you. Then the depression spirit get on you, the suicide spirit get on you. Suicide kills. Ain't no, ain't no, you ain't coming back from that. Suicide kills unless Jesus do another Lazarus, unless he do one of them. Man, I'm telling y'all, oh my God, y'all, repent, God is coming soon, it's earthquakes all over this place, earthquakes in places we ain't even heard of earthquakes, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, it was an earthquake here, as long as I've been alive 33 years, I ain't never had an earthquake in Cincinnati, but y'all, I'm telling y'all, choose this day, today, this Friday, Friday afternoon, choose you this day whom you will serve and serve him wholeheartedly. And I'm talking about God because I chose who I'm going to serve. All right, that's a ministering moment. Holy Rocker out.